Tonight, we're hearing from the family members of this five-year-old girl who died following a high-speed chase, a chase that ended in a Southside retention pond. I feel like there's a debt now in the world because we'll never get to see, you know, um, just everything that, that she could accomplish or be. Um, she had such a beautiful, big soul. Loved ones say Vanity Cabrera loved dancing, had an infectious laugh, and had that smile right there that could light up a room. It's such a tragedy. The child's mom, 32-year-old Pamela Cabrera, is now charged with vehicular homicide and eluding police. News for Jack's reporter Renee Beninati talked to family members and joins us now live. Renee. Mary, this family is understandably heartbroken and going through so much right now. Not only are they mourning the loss of vanity and preparing for her funeral, they're also coping with the fact that her mom is behind bars here at the Duval County Jail facing serious charges. Here's five-year-old Vanity Cabrera at the pumpkin patch, all dressed up and doing what she loved, dancing. I my thing they are now memories her loved ones are holding extra close. She was full of life. She was full of joy. Um, she loved to dance. Uh, she, she was extraordinary. On March 31st, police say Vanity was kidnapped by her mother, Pamela Cabrera. JSO says Cabrera, armed with a knife, led police on a 30-mile chase. It ended when she drove her SUV into this retention pond off I-95. Cabrera was pulled out alive but little vanity did not make it. I think as since this has happened, you, you, you just feel that the world is different because she's not in it. Court records reveal vanity's mother has had a history with the law and suffers from bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. The documents say because of that, Cabrera lost custody of vanity in 2020 and since then has been living with her sister. I talked to the child's aunt off camera who says she raised vanity like she was her own. And was just wowed by the way they loved Vanity and the way Vanity loved them. This family says Cabrera also loved Vanity and they do not want people to rush to judgment. Because they don't want people to jump quickly or think she was evil or think, you know, uh, any of that. They want to make it clear that this was a person struggling um, and wasn't, it wasn't successful, you know, getting the help that they needed. Their loved ones are now focusing on keeping Vanity's memory alive and hoping that this tragedy can help raise awareness about mental health issues. Since Vanity's death, community members have rallied behind this family. And last time we checked, more than $10,000 has been raised to help lay Vanity to rest. Coming up tonight at 11, hear how you can also help this family during this tragedy. Reporting live in Duval County, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station.